Hey, what's going on guys? I got Othman here. He runs a cold email lead generation agency. He's actually one of my clients at TickScale. I got him on an interview here today. Hey, hey man, super stoked to be here. So yeah, I run a cold email B2B lead gen agency in the French market. And uh, yeah, I've been working with Amen and his team for a little over a month now. So yeah, let's get started. Yeah, so give me like, how much money did you make from working with us? from your YouTube channel. So after working with you, uh, after I would say three weeks or a month, I closed my first client. Uh, it was for uh, for the agency, but for coaching. It was 3K euros, so that's uh, 3.5K USD in cash collected after the first month working together. Nice, good stuff. And you were only averaging, like on the views we made for you, you were getting kind of like 200 to 300 views per video, like around there, right? Yeah, like when we started, I only posted like two to three videos before we started together. I was averaging like 250, 300 views a video. Uh, I thought I was, never gonna get even a single call booked before like two to three months of working together because I had a long-term view but I was so surprised to see that after only one or two videos I started getting consistent two to three calls a week booked from from YouTube and then closing the first client with only a few hundred views a video that, that was mind-boggling for me yeah that was awesome and you still have like 4.5k left in the pipeline of people who are like interested but they just like haven't moved forward yet right yeah I have way more people in the pipe I still have people in my CRM I'm gonna recontact later uh, this year uh, and the thing is these inbound leads I'm not used to to getting uh, this type of sales uh, conversations when I'm when you're doing outbound it's super hard you don't know the person you're bothering them you're trying to get them on sales call. when someone watches your YouTube channel and gets on a call with you it's so much easier just because they they built rapport they know they have a need they came to you so even though I haven't closed some of them they're still super stoked to, to talk uh, with me again in a few weeks or in a few uh, in a couple of months where when they'll be more ready to potentially work together yeah it makes sense and then like what did you have to do in the whole process and like what did we do so like basically you know we did read thumbnails ideas you want to like walk us through that yeah so one of the things i really like about your offer is that when i send something like i send my raw uh, recordings i don't have to do anything which includes the fact that you're optimizing my seo you're posting the videos for me so you know just the, the simple fact that i don't have to upload the video on YouTube and write everything that you send me on a doc. It's just it's so smooth. So the only thing that I had to do is uh, get on a call with you, brainstorm some video ideas, and then basically record my videos because you, you weren't uh, scripting the videos for me. I decided to do it myself just because it's something I want to do. I don't want to delegate. And yeah, so pretty much I record a raw footage of my videos. I send it to you. Usually it takes me like two to three hours to script my own video, film my own video with my iPhone. Don't even have like a crazy setup or anything. And you've been so awesome explaining to me how to use the proper tools to to record as well this, this was something that I was uh, that I was afraid of when I started I was like I don't have the setup I don't know how to how to do everything but you showed me and it was way simpler than I thought and then you've pretty much handled everything the the editing the SEO the thumbnails the posting and the strategy as well because I think the the fact that I closed the client I'm pretty sure it's because of your strategy the way you choose the titles the way you choose the topic it's really YouTube funnels more than just YouTube videos and the type of person who's gonna watch uh, the video that you decide decided for me to, to record is typically the exact ICP that I'm looking for. And this is why it's so easy to convert later on just with a couple hundred views. Yeah, basically like to give the viewers context, what we did with Offmain's channel is like, like he said, we set up a funnel. So we had like some top of funnel content, but a lot of the content was like super specific, like how to use cold email to do this, or like just hitting like very specific keywords. And you know, that's why we were getting like 200 to 300 views per video. It's cause like we're hit really hitting specific keywords that had high search volume low competition. And then basically, even though we're only getting 200 to 300 views, it's like, these are high intent views. So then like, that's basically why, you know, he's getting two to three calls every single week, just from YouTube. And you said you spend like two to three hours on scripting. Cause you wanted to do that yourself. And then like, let's say one hour on recording kind of thing. Oh, no, it's two to three hours with everything. Scripting oh. plus recording. <laughs> and the, the way I think about this is the 200 views, imagine like 200 actual people in your ICP interested in what you're selling, watching 15 minutes of videos of a training from you basically so um, it doesn't seem much when you're uh, when you're watching YouTube and you see 200 views on a video but when you think about it this way uh, it's way more uh, impactful and I think if we were on the US market English speaking market we would have get we would have gotten more views but since we're in the French market uh, I mean less people are searching for videos because there are less viewers but also the the outbound space the cold email space is not super developed here yet mm -hmm. yeah like when we when we onboarded Othmain I was like a little bit hesitant because like he was like he was gonna be my first French client all my other clients are English for anyone watching this but then I realized like nobody was really you know 
bringing like the cold email strategies from like the English market to the French market. And I was like, okay, there's a bit of a blue ocean here. You know, there's some people, but they're just like surface level. They don't really even know what they're talking about. You know, Othman's booking like some of his clients, like they launch the campaign, they get like 30 calls in a week or like yeah. I saw some crazy stuff. So yeah. the thing is, is like Othman is good at what he does. And I just take, we just took his expertise, packaged it into YouTube videos that are searchable and just put them out on the internet. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. You, you must be actually good at what you do because you need to speak about, first of all, you need to speak about your process. And if you're not competent, the process is just BS and you need to show the results. And as, as you said, I have some, some of my clients are getting crazy uh, results. I just had a client yesterday calling me, telling me, please stop the campaigns because we have four calls a day booked for the following month and I can't take <laughs> any more calls. <laughs> so, so, so I had, I had to stop. Yeah, that's fine. And then like one more thing is you told me a story one time of how like someone who is like a part of a really big company, like knew about you from your YouTube video. Do you remember what I'm talking about? That, you know, that's the other time? fun thing about running a YouTube channel. Uh, I had a friend who was in a job interview with a huge company in uh, in France and he was basically applying to be an SDR and the guy in the job interview told him hey uh, how do you uh, learn about our space and he said YouTube and when he told him that he watched my videos because he was one of my friends that the guy who was interviewing him knew me and I thought it was so weird because I only had like four videos up, 200 views a video, and knowing that like a senior uh, SDR account manager, I don't know what, what was his job title, at a huge company in France was watching my videos. That, I mean, that, that was a super, super cool moment. I also got recognized a few times uh, when I was partying with some friends here uh, in Paris from people in our, sp in our space. That's so weird. I can't imagine what it's like when you're getting like tens of thousands of views or like 100K subs. I mean, <laughs> that's, that, that, I'm, I'm sure that's super weird. Yeah. And like the cool part is like we've only worked together for like, you know, three or four weeks kind of thing. It's like imagine like three months, six months, like when, you know, if you just double your view count, which isn't that hard to do from like, let's say 200 to 400, then it's like two times as many people will know about you and you'll get recognized even more. And the, the beautiful thing about YouTube is the videos that we did together are still getting views. Like I just saw one of my videos just surpassed 1K view, views. It was a LinkedIn sales navigator tutorial. And I'm getting comments of people saying, hey, that's the best tutorial I got in French. Never saw someone doing an in-depth tutorial like yourself. So in the following three to four years, five years, 10 years, people will still look for a tutorial for LinkedIn sales nav and they're still gonna watch my video. And working with you was a real paradigm shift because I always thought about uh, organic as the last thing you do when you build a business something that you, that is a nice to have super long it's never going to be the the pillar that you're going to build your, your business on but when i started working with you and i saw that you can actually get results from the very beginning of your organic uh marketing strategy made me realize that like any type of business that i would build uh i would 100 percent start uh posting on social start a youtube channel doing some shorts or something like this just because it compounds and it helps it helps with the inbound it also helps with the outbound because then people start search you up on Google when they receive a cold email or a cold LinkedIn from yourself. And then they see that you have a YouTube channel and you're an expert in your niche. And then they start watching your videos. So when they actually come to a sales call, they're actually warmed up, even though it was outbound. Yeah. And it's like, how many people are sending cold emails? Like a lot, but then like how many people are, you know, making YouTube videos? It's like yeah. not a lot, right? So basically yeah. by making YouTube videos, instantly you differentiated yourself. You're like, cool, you're up here. All these other people spamming them with weird messages. You know, they Google them, they don't find anything, but then they find your YouTube channel, watch like three videos, and then they email you back kind of thing. Obviously not everyone, but like, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the process. Or even if they haven't watched my videos in between the two sales calls, I'm going to send them some sales ads. I'm going to send them my YouTube channel and they're going to watch it. And now I'm also thinking about a client retention. Yes, Yesterday I was with a client on a call and I didn't know, like he's an old client. He's like 70 years old. He's almost retired, but he still runs a business on the side. And he told me, hey, I was on YouTube and your face popped up and I started watching your videos and it was and super cool. Continue what you're doing. And I thought about it and I was like, okay, even my clients see my, my face on YouTube. So it, it reminds them that I, that like, I am an expert at what I do. I am here do, like doing things and putting content out there. And I think it's going to help uh, even with retention. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. That, that even reminds me of myself. Like it's like, I'm selling YouTube. It's like, I'm posting YouTube videos. People open YouTube to see my face. I didn't even think of it from like a client retention perspective. But yeah, so, yeah that's fire, bro. like for me, imagine myself, like I'm working with you and uh, I open YouTube and like every day I see your, your face on it and I see that you're getting views. I'm like, okay. 
stay man knows what he's doing and stay uh, working with them yeah 100 percent. well one i have like two more questions for you actually two small ones so like one like what would you tell someone who's like on the fence of like working with us you know they want to book a call but they haven't yet like what would you tell them i mean first of all if it's just about booking a call i mean why the hell not <laughs> because actually for what you do it's more of a consulting call than anything else because you must understand what they're doing is there some space that you can fill uh, in the market for their service uh, on youtube and second if they had a call and they're still hesitating of working with you i mean the process of working with you was super, was super smooth you're working with big 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 names in the industry so you're very professional you know what you're doing and yeah you're getting results so i, I don't see any reason why someone that actually wants to build a, a youtube funnel or a youtube channel shouldn't like basically start working with a with your agency yeah 100 percent. well awesome thank you off for your time that was like super helpful hopefully now we'll get a ton more calls booked <laughs> we'll, we'll keep getting you some calls as well yeah thank you brother appreciate it awesome see you